What is up, world? Welcome to this video. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. So, who am I? I am Meg Greenlee. I am 31 years young and I'm on a mission here to share wisdom and insight and knowledge and to teach, not preach, that we can be or do or have anything we want in this existence. I believe in conscious creation and I believe that we are all creators, but that those of us who are awake to this insight are conscious creators. So this video is going to be titled, Are You Waking Up? Are you waking up? Are you awake? What does that even mean? Well, to me, being awake, awakened, being an awakened human being, an enlightened human, is being somebody who is consciously aware of the fact that they get to choose their reality. Now, in the early stages of waking up, you might not fully grasp this concept. You will learn it throughout your journey and you will arrive ultimately at this information. You might have just done it right now. Congratulations, you've arrived. Oh, the angels are celebrating in heaven. So anyway, <clears throat> um, but like an awakening is just, it could be like an event, you know, like people say, you've heard this before, spiritual awakening, divine intervention. Um, these things, I don't actually subscribe to them being like one definitive, definitive moment. Um, to me, an awakening is a process, is a journey, is a pilgrimage, is the self, um, finding the self, coming home to our hearts. And additionally, I believe that our higher selves and the parts of us that I believe us to be physical and non-physical at the same time, and I believe that the non-physical parts of us are much bigger and more impactful than our physical parts. So. The physical, the non-physical part of us already knows all of the things that we want in this life. The non-physical part of us is the part that tugs at our heartstrings, that taps our foot along to the music, that um, smiles or laughs or giggles just because we, have, we feel joy in our hearts. That's our non-physical selves. And the two of those merging is just this, is, is consciousness, is, is awareness of, al of alignment and of awakening. So if that sounds cryptic, that's okay. <laughs> Digest it, digest it. So are you waking up? Has something recently happened to you that's made you question everything? Does it seem like your life is falling apart? Did your house just burn down? <laughs> Did you lose your job? <laughs> All of these things could definitely be signs of spiritual awakening, but what it mostly is, is, is if we don't choose, if we aren't honest enough with ourselves and conscious enough with ourselves to choose to change, to choose the change that our non-physical parts are, are, are leading us towards, then sometimes spiritual awakening, awakening can, can look a bit messy, can feel a bit messy, can feel a bit like, what the heck is going on right now and everything is changing and, you know, it's more of this feeling. It's not really much thinking, it's very much feeling. So, you might be experiencing spiritual awakening if any of those things, you know, just happened or, you know, additionally, on the flip side, you might be experiencing a spiritual awakening if you are seeing synchronicities in your life. So, do you see 1111 11 a lot? What about 1234 or 911 or 333 or 444? These are all signs from the universe that you are experiencing an awakening and that there are additional forces that are trying to open your eyes and expand your mind and open your heart to the wholeness of who you are. Because we are not simply our bodies. Um, scientifically, literally, our aura goes out um, way beyond our human suits. And I know that that's a bit of a, an interesting concept to grasp in the early stages, but I also believe that my work as a light worker has come to like fruition and peak now because I feel like we're, we're experiencing more of like a mass awakening. There's a lot of people living in the world in fear and 
you know, we all know in our hearts, we all know in our hearts the truth of the, the, the matter is that we don't have to live in fear. We don't have to live in suffering. But there is this conscious, um, there is this like collective consciousness that, that has us all connected as well because we are all connected beings. And what this collective consciousness does is, and be careful of your thoughts because sometimes the collective consciousness will infiltrate in there. Um, videos for another day on being an empath and how to guard your energy. But what you have to understand is that we are all connected and that we all get there, wherever there is, together. And some of us chose to come to the earth a bit early and wake up a bit early and feel even weirder than most people early and um like you know <laughs> to help the collective that might be you too you might be a light worker stay tuned for more videos but the point of all of that is if you are watching this video you are probably waking up if you're seeing synchronicities and signs you are probably waking up if you feel like you've never fit in you're probably a light worker. And if you just happen to stumble upon this video because you followed my channel for a while and you're like, wow, this Meg Greenlee chick, you know, she's super eclectic and she talks about crazy stuff and then, you know, she just, <laughs> and then she travels all around and, and sometimes she climbs on rocks and sings songs with her ukulele. All of that, you guys, is just my expression of being or doing or having anything I want. There are these two sides of me personally that are merging right now, and that is the Meg Greenlee and the Meg Greenlee Unlimited sign coming to one. Meg Greenlee in the human suit uh, has this conscious, this cosmic consciousness that knows that she is an infinite being made of stardust. And this is the way that I live my life. I had been until I got to Newfoundland, until I landed exactly where I was meant to be. I had been traveling for 15 straight months in search of home, in search of where my heart was pulling me to. And what I did to do that was I took a huge freaking leap of faith. I was in my life and I was unhappy with it. I was unfulfilled. I knew that there was more. I knew that there was bigger. I knew that there was better. Now, I didn't wake up just with that one decision. It was a decision to a decision to a decision to another decision that led to another decision that led to another decision. And then eventually the universe was like, wow, this girl is good at deciding things that set her along her path. Let's give her more to play with. Let's give her more room to expand and grow. And this can be you too, okay? I don't intend with any of my work to simply give people information. I want to teach people how to navigate through life and consciously create on their own for themselves and for others. So are you waking up? If you're watching this video, yes. <laughs> Have you, are you experiencing this like spiritual awakening inside of you that is just reminding you of who you really are? Think of it this way. When you were a little kid, did you ever really did you ever worry about how you were going to be taken care of? No, you didn't because you just were. In reality, in truth, we are all taken care of in that same way in the now, in the today, in every, each and every moment. We are never alone. We are always connected and we are always expanding. Growth is inevitable. The essence of life is growth and ooh, this came to me this morning if you are waking up you're probably in one of two phases you might be wait have been waking up for a while but you might be in one of two phases there here are the two when it's time to go it's time to go and when it's time to grow it's time to grow Heck, you might be in one of those, you might be in both those phases at one at the same time right now because I could, I could uh, relate with that duality. Absolutely. Contrast is key. Contrast teaches us what we do want because we're always shooting those rockets of desire. We're always, even if we're not speaking it or, or wording it to the universe or God or creator or source, whatever you call him or her, it. We're always connected and we're always aligned with our desires when we release our resistance to them. We don't even have to actually verbally ask. Like meditation and yoga, yoga is body prayer. 
Anything you can do to get yourself into your body and love it, start by drinking more water. Anything you can do in that regard will align you to your highest desires. So if you are going through a spiritual awakening, or if you have been on this journey for a while, all you need to know, all you need to know is to let go. Because when you let go, you float. And it's just like Esther Hicks mentions all the time. Our desires, imagine our desires up here. A cork floating on the water. It's only ever us that pushes that cork down, down, down. But when we let go, we float right up. And I'll give you another tip. It's not from here that we figure it out. It's not from our brains. You can't think yourself through like a problem or a circumstance or a situation that you created from your brain. Because our thoughts become things. Remember to choose the good ones. And our internal reality manifests in our external world. So whatever you have going inside of you, have going on inside of you, be mindful of it. Be mindful of the things that you think. Haven't you ever thought of a song and then boom, it's on the radio. You're thinking of a person and then they just so happen to call you. Don't you find that a synchronicity? Don't you find that a little bit like eerie? It is and it isn't. It's the law of attraction. What we put out, we get back to us. So if you're going through a spiritual awakening, you might want to begin by studying the law of attraction. If you're really diving deep, go check out Aaron Doty's material on reality transurfing. Victor Odo is another one of my great spiritual teachers. That dude has been a mentor for me since like day one. His video, Are You a Light Worker, changed my entire life. Because I had felt like something was changing and shifting in me for a while, but he was the one that spoke it into existence, and that's what I'm hoping to do for you right now. I have sort of struggled a bit recently on like, like, where do I post this content? Where do I post this metaphysical Meg information? Because I want to be motivational and inspirational and cosmic consciousness and a human being all at the same time. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. If you do the energy work, if you raise your vibration, you, I'm talking to myself, everything just clicks like a freaking vacuum. It doesn't matter where you put information out, just put it out. If you are watching my channel and you want to do what I do, if you want to inspire thousands of people, just do it. It's not about the action. It's You can align your actions, but it's not about specifics. You know, Get rid of the details and only truth remains. If you have the intent of helping and healing yourself and others, you are capable and able to do so. Whatever it is that you wanna do, you're able to do it. If you're just like, and you don't even literally have to be like, consider yourself a spiritual or religious person to go through an awakening. Because the word, words, oh man, words are frustrating, eh? Words keep us locked in boxes. Words, labels, all of that jazz. Like something, I say this a lot, something in French, je ne sais pas, sounds much more elegant than I don't know. <laughs> je suis américaine. I am an American. Okay, they both sound kind of pretty. But the point is, it's not about the words, it's not about the labels, it's about the feeling and the intent behind things. And that energy will attract what it is that you're wishing to receive. But if you're putting out poopy energy into the world, guess what you're going to get back? So, if you're awakening today, welcome. Welcome to the tribe. My name is Meg. Stay tuned.